Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, we're going to take a look at a question from Steve Engelhorn, W1SWE. And he is asking a couple questions as he's putting his station together um, about his uh, coax, what coax he would look for, and grounding and bonding equipment. Um, I'll tell you my favorite coax is RG8X. This is for a normal, um, an ordinary uh, general station, 100 watts, okay, to an antenna that's no more than about 100 feet away. And the uh, you can get this with connectors on it already if you want, or you can make your own. Now, he mentions that he has drilled a hole in his concrete block structure, I guess into the basement, to where he can put that thing through. If this hole is more than the size of a dime, a mouse can squeeze in through that hole. So it's sometimes better to make the hole just big enough for the coax rather than the coax and the connector. And then that way the vermin can't get in. But that does mean that you'll have to put the connector on it. Now, the uh, place to put the ground is right here. Right at the um, entrance where the coax comes into the house. Uh, attach your uh, lightning uh, surge protector uh, right here. Uh, there are little mounting things you can get. Talk to DX Engineering. They'll tell you uh, what you have to get or HRO. I find that DX Engineering is very helpful over the phone if you've got questions. Okay, and put that right here. And then you can run that out to uh, your antenna and about an 8-foot ground rod, which you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, we have... We have a Home Depot here, we don't have a, a Lowe's. Okay, and then bring that in and up to your station. Also at your station, you're going to have a central point ground that all your device's grounds come to, and that's going to be connected out to this ground also. So leave room for that. Okay, so um, that answers the basics of the questions. Now I want to draw your attention to a... Um, a website I have, dcastler.com slash, um, what's interesting, reference, slash reference, dcastler.com slash reference. This has a reference station for general and amateur extra. Here are the components of it, all the different parts and pieces. Again, you'll see that for coax, I recommend RG8X. Okay, for grounding, you've got your 8-foot ground for lightning search. Something that's generally recognized, which would be an Alpha Delta Morgan, something like that. Uh, I recommend this particular model. If you go into the video, uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the let's see, right there. Uh, you can see the... Uh, lightning arrester it's got a coax connector on each end and then it connects over here to a connector which goes to your ground rod okay and this is where you replace the little lightning um, spark capsule that's in there it's a lightning surge protector nothing will protect against a direct strike but this will come very very close to protecting uh, against most everything Okay, so that gives you an idea of what these things are. So again, this is dcastler.com slash reference. It gives you specific recommendations on uh, everything, okay, that you might need to use. And uh, that, I think, should be a very helpful reference for you. Let me make sure we got through your questions. Okay, so the grounding... Rod, remember, goes just outside where the cable goes into the house. That's where the ground goes. 
and uh, hopefully that's very near your station so that you can bring your ground uh, link from the single point ground in the station down to the outside ground. So there you have it. If you would like to make a comment on this video, please do so. Uh, YouTube values the uh, uh, discussions. I cannot promise that I can get to every comment, but I do try to review some from time to time. And uh, also, please subscribe, please click like, please share. And if you would like to help support this channel financially, go to decastlercom support. And until we next meet, 73.